Hi, I'm Donna from the Ontario Science Centre and welcome to Summer with the Science Centre. We're so excited for you to participate in these activities with us and here's one thing that we'd love for you to do. Could you keep a science notebook? You might be wondering, what's a science notebook? Well, it's a place where scientists write down their observations, they keep track of their data, as well as recording their thoughts. It's super helpful. And if you want to see up close a couple of science notebooks, I've got a few examples for you right here. Hi, I'm Dash and this is my tree journal. Whenever I encounter a new tree, I like to log it in this book. I would not usually share this journal in too much detail, but we can leaf through a few pages together. This is like a personal diary of all the different trees I've met. I record any details that will help me recognize a tree in the future, along with interesting facts or popular misconceptions. If it's late in the summer or autumn, I like to collect leaves from mature trees. If I'm maple too, I sketch the leaf so that if I ever lose it, I won't need a new one. Trees need their leaves more than I do, so it isn't good to take too many. Hi, I'm Louise, and this is my science notebook. This is something I've had since my days as a graduate student in chemistry. Right now, I work on formulations for textile dyes and skincare lotions. So this is where I will work out my reaction conditions and record my observations. I'm also interested in sustainable design. So this is one of my design sketchbooks, and this is where I work out my designs and also record all my ideas. Hello friends, I'm Lizwana from the Ontario Science Centre and this is my son, Ayan. Hello friends, I'd like to share with you a, a book about animals. This is a contents page, this is a reptile page, this is an animal page, and this, this is an amphibian page, this is a fish page, and this is an ocean food web, and this is a bird page, and this is an insect page, and this is a life of a Hope you have a wonderful summer! Hi there, my name's Victoria and this is my science field journal. I take it with me when I go on nature walks and I use it to write down observations of different animals, plants, birds, and fungus that I see. I write down the location where I am and a couple cool facts about the species I'm looking at. I even include a picture of what I've seen. Hi everyone, my name is Elias and this is my digital notebook. I use my notebook to keep track of all the animals that I've seen that are native to Canada. I like to decorate my notebook at the date, the time, and who was with me on that trip. I also find it very entertaining to draw what I saw or even take a picture of the animal if I have my camera on me. I also like to add a little sticky note with a fun fact written on it. Hi, my name is Rochelle and these are some of my science log books. One of the things I like to do is make paper. And I actually make log books out of a paper. And in this one, I keep samples of paper experiments that I've done. Hello, my name is Kajina, and this is my science notebook. I've been using this notebook to plan my home garden, which I started for the first time this year. Let's get right to it. Here is my vegetable garden for the year 2020. I plan to garden every year now. I started with a to-do list of things I want to do and things I need to buy. Then I did some research on what vegetables I would like to plant and some tips and tricks to help me grow them. I'm a visual learner, so I drew out how I wanted my backyard to look. Then I made goals of what I want to get done every day. And after a couple of days of watering the plants in the afternoon, I realized how much water I was using and decided to do something to save water. Here, let me show you. There you see some of the tomatoes. And here are some fresh salads that I'll be using for lunch later. What's in your science notebook? What's in your science notebook? What's in your log book? What's in your science notebook? What's in your science notebook? What's in your science notebook? Make your own notebooks!